Welcome to Caribbean Kitchen with Siani. We're talking about the channel that gives you knowledge about food preparation and step-by-step -step instruction. You can't miss. Remember to click the subscribe button and the post notification bell. If you like, give it a thumbs up and then share. Welcome or welcome back to Caribbean Kitchen with CNA. Today I will be making fruit cake or black cake or they also call and they also call it rum cake. Now these are all the ingredients that I will be using. I have eggs, spices, butter, rum, and this is the blended fruits. So you can check out the description box for the link on how to prepare your fruits for preparing, making your food cake. We have mixed spice and nutmeg, ground cinnamon, maclas, vanilla, maclas rose water and almond together. And I also have maclas vanilla. And I'll be using browning, brown sugar, backstrap molasses, and rum, flour, of course, baking powder. The proportion of the ingredients that you're seeing here, they are actually less than what I will be using, but I'm just showing you the specific ingredients that I will be using. So to begin, I started by sifting the flour and you can add the dry ingredients such as the, the spices and the baking powder and salt in the flour because they will all be combined so the purpose of me sifting the flour is to allow more air space to go in the flour so that it will not be heavy or too heavy when i'm ready to combine now I'm adding the spices along with the baking powder in the flour. We're going to mix until everything is properly combined. Another option is to sift flour, spices and baking powder and so everything will be combined automatically. After the dry ingredients are properly combined, then you are going to set it aside and then we're going to prepare the eggs. And how we prepare the eggs we're going to use two containers we're going to break the one egg in one container first and we're going to take the eyes out because taking the eyes out it will help to prevent it from being raw so you're going to take out the eyes and then you're going to put it in the next container and you're going to continue until all the eggs are finished Please ensure that all your ingredients are at room temperature so that everything can be properly combined. If not, you're going to have lumps in places that you don't want to have any lumps, right? So this butter is at room temperature and I will blend it together before adding the sugar. So it's time to add the sugar and after adding the sugar this is what it looks like after cleaning for about 10 minutes but it needs to cream some more so I am going to cream it, continue creaming and allow it to be more light and fluffy. Now I am almost finished creaming, I am going to add the eggs.
This is the hardest part of it. It's to be combining all of those ingredients together. Um, it's really tiring, especially when you don't have anyone to help you to do the cutting and folding. It's really hard. Now at this point, I am finished. You can taste it. It's at the right consistency. I, I am making a big batch. However, I will be leaving the recipe for a small batch in the description box. So if you want to double your recipe, you can go ahead and double. So this is it. And I will be baking it for some one hour, some one and a half hour because I have bigger containers than these that you're seeing. In preparing your tins for the mixture, you need to grease it with butter and then add flour. Some you put grease paper. This is the finished product and in this bottle, I have a combination of rum and a fruit wine. So as I take it out of the oven, I went ahead and spray, spray the cakes. Ensure that you spray them as you take them out because you want it to maintain that strong flavor. And you're finished. Um, what I did with mine was to wine it, that I spray it like every day or every two days until I think I it have enough and package and send away. This is how I make my Christmas fruit cake. Thank you so much for watching and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Welcome to Caribbean Kitchen with Sienny.